my list of the top 10 Jamaican born football players. <laughs> what's up family welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome 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 today we're going to look at my list of the top 10 jamaican born football players so if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do so and remember to turn on your post notification bell so you will not miss any of my videos and also remember to like and share this video so this is another controversial list so feel free to comment below and give me your top 10 list and let me see how close them match so without any further ado let us get right into the video starting off this list we have Luton Shelton he is at number 10 for me he is a top Jamaican striker Shelton was born on the 11th of November 1985 in Kingston he first played as a reggae boy in 2004 and then he went on to play 75 times. He is Jamaica's current record holder for goals scored with a total of 35 goals. He played in three CONCACAF Gold Cup. Shelton is currently not active as he's battling the ASL disease, commonly known as the Lou Gehrig disease. And this disease affects his nerve cells, his brain, and his spinal cord. We are praying for his recovery. And we pray God's blessing upon his life and his family. Next, we have Leon Bailey. Leon Patrick Bailey is the youngest one on this list. Although I don't have much to him name yet, he's a very promising player. He is currently regarded as one of the best young footballer in the world. He was born on 9th of August 1997. He now plays for Bundesliga Club Bayer. And the good news is that Bailey is finally representing Jamaica. Coming in at number eight on this list is Ian Pepe Goodison. Pepe was born in 1972 and he was drafted into the national squad by then coach Rene Simois. He later went on to become a part of the World Cup of 1998 squad. You know that famous World Cup squad. Yeah, Pepe was a part of that. And he was one of the best defense players. Pepe is also widely known for his accomplishment at the Tranmere Rovers in England. Where he played until he was over 40 years old. Also on this list is Walter Boyd. Walter Boyd was considered to be one of the most controversial but also one of the best footballers Jamaica has ever produced. He accomplished a lot and he played over 60 matches for Jamaica national team. He also played for Swansea City as well as the Colorado Foxes. The now retired player was also referred to as the Black Pearl. He made three appearances in the 1998 World Cup as a substitute. Coming in at number six on this list is Ricardo Fuller. Ricardo was born in 1979. He started his career at the Tivoli Gardens Football Club and then he went on to play for teams like Crystal Palace, 
Portsmouth, Southam, and Fuller became a part of the Jamaica national team as a forward in 1998, where he has grown from the under 20 player to a senior player. And he also took part in the World Cup qualifying matches as well as the CONCACAF Gold Cup. We also have another Ricardo and this is Ricardo Gardner. Yes, we all know him as Bibi Gardner. He was born in 1978. Bibi has acquired 111 caps, yes, playing for Jamaica at the World Cup level as well as CONCACAF Gold Cup level. He started his career from as early as a 14 at the Harbour View Football Club. He was made captain of the Jamaica national team from 2005 to 2009. And from there he went on to play for Bolton Wanderers in, in the English Premier League. He is now retired and is actively involved in coaching. At number four we have Alan Skilkohl. Skilkohl was born in 1950 and he is being regarded as one of the best football players Jamaica has ever produced. He is also celebrated as a co-writer to Bob Marley in the song War. Skilkohl is still the youngest player to represent the reggae boys. He did this at age 15. Also on the list is Theodore Whitmore. Whitmore is now retired and is also the head coach for the reggae boys. He made his debut in 1993 for the national team and he has gone on to earn 105 international caps for Jamaica and also scoring 24 goals. He represented Jamaica throughout the years and became one of their top players. He is known for scoring two goals that gave Jamaica their only win in the 1998 World Cup. He also played for several English teams and is now the national coach, as I said before. We also have John Barnes. He comes in at number two. He is currently a commentator on ESPN. John Barnes played for Liverpool for several years, earning league titles as a left winger. He also represented the English team internationally in the World Cup, even though he is a Jamaican by birth. And closing off the list at number one, we have Raheem Sterling. Sterling migrated to the UK at a very early age. Sterling was born in 1994, however he migrated to the UK at a, an early age. This player plays the left wing and he started his career with the Queen's Park Rangers before he moved on to playing for Liverpool. While at Liverpool he was awarded the Golden Boys title. He then moved on to play for Manchester City where he helped them to two Premier League titles. And although he has never represented Jamaica, he is still a Jamaican and we look forward to many more years of his great football skill. So there you have my list of my top 10 Jamaican footballers. Comment below and list your top 10 and let us compare.
and thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video